Welcome back. Championship Sunday. Uh, you can hear the noise possibly in the yep. background. We've got a big match going on between Envy and Curse Black on Alpha. Uh, we have a top four qualifier here for the Season 3 League. Going to be coming up here between Excellence and Justice. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a good one. As uh, as you know, Rise now is going to be in the uh, MLG League. So that was a good thing. They beat out Team Fuse. So I believe Fuse is now out of the tournament. Or they were in the... Uh, no, Fuse. I think Fuse so is playing still, Optic Nation so next. So playing Optic Nation yeah. next. So they still got an uphill battle going for them, but they can still make it into the league. But it was a good match nonetheless. This one's going to be an even better one. Justice versus Excellence. Excellence, that really breakout team of the tournament. Unfortunately, we're going to have a, a restart of the game. But, you know... Excellence, the breakout team. They beat teams such as Strictly Business, uh, Optic Nation. They were just most recently beat 3-0, though, against uh, – what team were they beat by? I, I was casting over on Alpha. I'm not Forgot sure. Forgot what team they were beat by. I was, I was a part of a TCM making their first top four. Very I good. mean, well, really, I, the first time they've been top eight in yep. MLG, and now they've busted into the top four, which is really, really impressive. So, really, uh, both sides, the championship and the open bracket here, starting to narrow it down to these final teams. Yeah, TCM's always been a good team. I've casted over them for the EGL Star Series, and they've always impressed me. They beat teams such as uh, Epsilon and really anybody else that's over their orbit. Uh, so, I've always been impressed by them. And uh, actually, not even surprising that they're doing so well over there and they're going to continue to go forth and uh, they're in the loser bracket right so they're they're working their way up yeah yeah the the, okay. well the only thing left for winners is the winners bracket finals which right. i think is at 2 30 pacific uh that'll be between optic gaming and evil geniuses which yesterday both teams 3-0'd pretty easily look right. very 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 that's strong. gonna be an exciting so, one you know that'll be a huge game i expect the stands to be completely packed for that one hey they're already getting packed as it is optic gaming versus eg i wonder who's going to win that and just tweeted us with your predictions on that match and also this one as well between justice and excellent starting off it is going to be sovereign domination Starting off, it's not going to be Sovereign Domination, apparently. They're going to end it one more time. Yeah. You know, they got to do their hair, makeup, yeah. and you know, they got to look good. Having a little trouble getting us started <laughs> in this one. Unfortunately, we've had two uh, two hosts in it now. But uh, ex as far as what to expect, I mean, the fact that Excellence, like you said, beat Optic Nation, yes. uh, they beat Justice, I see no reason they can't take this one away from Justice. But on the flip side of your Justice, I mean, you're a team that was in the Season 2 League, didn't make it into that top 12 spot. Right. Have to battle back now through this open bracket. So it's already, you know, it was already a disappointing result for them to have to even be in this yep. open bracket. If you get knocked out without making top uh, uh, top four to have another chance at that, you got to think they are going to be very, very upset uh, with their finish. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of the hardest matches that they've had so far. The uh, previous hardest one that we casted over was uh, Fuse when they played Fuse. Uh, actually, last night that was their most previous one. They played Justice versus Fuse. They lost 2-1. Their best game mode was Domination. Search and Destroy, they struggled a little bit, losing 3-6. I believe that was on Freight. And then the Blitz, I don't remember the score, but I remember that Fuse beat them pretty nicely. Beat them pretty nicely. We got a, we got a straggler in the back. What's going on, man? You God, doing? you are so handsome. <laughs> Welcome, TP. Hey, good luck this afternoon, big guy. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, hop into the, hopefully, hopefully we can third actually get started on this one. <laughs> third yeah. time's a charm. You know, it's only... It's only 12.32 right now, so this is still early for the gamers. Wait, course. Tommy, I think uh, the final matchup <laughs> should be going on around, what, 5.30, 6.30, someone there for both right. the Open pretty quick. and Championship bracket. So, yeah, not a lot of teams left to go through today, but we do have all eight members in, so we should be able to kick this one off. Uh, who do you feel like starting off with? Well, you know what? I'm just going to go through the guns right now, and we're going to see a four sub on sub action. So that's pretty cool to see. Snipe down, you know, that first style player can do a sub, he can do an AR, whatever. We also, whenever we cast it, he's, uh, we saw a dominant AR. He was taking up top broken over in yeah. uh, Octane. So now he's going to be rocking the sub. So I want to start on board with him and just see how the versatility is going to come through. Maybe adaptation. Looks like he's going to take an aggressive right over here. Probably attack B or even attack the home flag, which on this map is such a crucial thing. You got to constantly be rotating and attacking the home flag in order to get an advantage. Yeah, it's funny. You know, he he does so well with the AR, but he's told me he really loves to actually to play with the sub. Just right. he thinks he's a, a very cerebral player, smart, uh, understands rotations. Coming from that Halo brat background does like to run the sub. We'll see how he starts off here. Uh, just looking at early on is going to be B control here for Justice. We're able to get that I pretty like unconcessive, but accuracy will be going and putting pressure on that home gap. Should be able to at least get a neutral and then hop away. Ooh, Great job there. Escape. Wow, he's going to be in a nice gunfight. It's going to be a big one. Basically being a nuisance in that enemy spawn. Just uh, trying to maybe go for the cap if he needs it, but at this point they don't really need it. They need to get B control and then possibly go for the triple cap. But accuracy with the nice kill on doubt, he could possibly get a two-piece. There's going to be a player above him. He's actually going to go for the capture right now. That player is going to try and take him out. Does get taken out, but a lot of damage was done. He wasted at least, I would say, 20 to 30 seconds right there just getting the flag neutral. We see Dow now. He's going to be rotating back to try and get it. And uh, let's get more of a twist. He's doing pretty good. 2-0, three-score streak here, taking a top 
uh, place here with BL fire, and he's going to be attacking B. Uh, big thing is they were able to maintain B through that, at least having to deal with the nuisance of their home cap being neutraled. Uh, even they end up getting a three down situation there, which is a great job. Justice will be able to retake B control. They do have A as well. He's about to get pushed in this left side. That will be Diabolic, who will pick up the kill. Doubt will then clean that up nice. at B. Gets an assist as well, Ooh, and nice, nice shots there from the red dot vector across. So good job out of Dallas. He's able to pick up, I think, three kills across that stretch. As we get down close to the three-minute mark, it's pretty much a tie game. So really yeah, tight. It's, yeah, it's pretty much tied getting down to the three minutes. And it's just I'm loving the battles that's going on for the home flags. I love seeing that stuff. And I'm also seeing a lot of great pushes going through Snake, which typically you don't see. Now you're starting to see it, and a lot of players doing it, at least going against these players. Just uh, nice little counters going down. Twiz, uh, again, one of the players I want to watch just for the fact that whenever he played uh, Fuse last night, he did so well. He went 32-18. and 18. I expect him to be one of the main slayers here and even one of the main objective players. He's now up top 6-2 and two with those three captures joining Doubt, who's 7-2. and two. So you got some good slaying power on this team. Now it's all about maintaining it. But look at the captures for the uh, for the bottom team here, for Team Excellence. They only have one, and that's accuracy with one capture. Well, uh, they just got them four down and three down a second oh, ago. Uh, four dive all can crew. They're three down again, so really just getting beat up right now by Justice. Twiz here on this B-cap should be able to flip. It looks like they are going to two-hop. Nice grenade from Cosmo. Nice. Uh, he will get the headshot and also the kill on Twiz. Accuracy picks up one as well, so that's going to be three down right now for Justice. Yeah, doubt uh, able to capture that B-flag. He's going to go into damage control, trying to maintain it. Getting Cosmo goes for the two-piece. Able to get it just in the nick of time. And that was really, really crucial as we see some nice pushes going down. Snipe down trying to get there as well as three went down momentarily. They're going to spawn up. Twiz, he's going to be pushing forward to get possible spawn trap here. Or just, you know, be a nuisance in their spawn in general as we see Justice now starting to take off with this map, 50 to 36. Yep. Now the search and destroy is going to be the interesting one. That's what I'm really looking forward to because we know they got some dominant, su or dominant search players on both teams. But this one, to be so close so far, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, Twiz is uh, really crushing right yeah. now. 14 and 5 and 3 caps. Uh, casted the season into league quite a bit with Gandhi and Twiz was one of the players that really can go off in these respawns. Yeah, uh, Getting it done, able to pick up another kill, should get a second there. Not able to get the hit markers through the wall there, will be taken out. Now there's a two hop on B. Accuracy and crew able to retake that. They're down 20 right now, just under 90 seconds to go. They need to hold this two cap for pretty much the remainder here to bring this back a bit. Yeah, they definitely do. Accuracy even can poke that uh, A flag if he wanted to. It looks like he might be doing that for the time being. Get it at least neutral to try and stop the points uh, from incoming to justice. Uh, nice win there as he takes out Sinful. He's going to be pushing through now, taking some damage from the back there. He is going to be pushed too strong from his side. He's got to win this in order to get it neutral. Not able to do so, but the good thing is justice had to rotate over there. They do notice that the uh, excellence has uh, retaken the B flag for the time being, we are going to see Justice hop on there, though. But uh, some good stuff coming in from both sides with the aggression. Yeah, but that's uh, that's what's good about pushing that home cap. Yeah. You, know, you free up that space around B quite a bit so they can work on that. Uh, Snipe down on Cosmo down right now. Going to be a 4-2 advantage here for Justice. And just like that, they lose two members as well. 13-point lead, 30 seconds left to go. Diabolic with the two-piece. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a pretty tight one come half. Uh, not anything they can't overcome. Typically, no. as casters, we kind of talk on these small maps about a 20-point lead plus is where it gets to be very difficult. Right. But uh, this is going to be tight enough where I think we could see a comeback. Yeah, we definitely could. I mean, it's you know, it's not really that much favorable in the hands of either which team. Of course, Justice, they're going to have a minor league. But we are starting to see excellence heat up with the gun skill as the match has progressed. So maybe just getting a little warmed up here, you know, and maybe we'll see them come out big in the second half. You know, they did well objectively, I would say, you know, rotating flags. But at one point in time, you know, for a, at least a good minute or a minute and a half, Justice was just dominating them on that B-Dom side as we saw excellence just trying to push forward but justice was getting all those angles and doing it correctly but excellence is going to have to find an answer for that we'll see if they do in the second half um yeah and that's going to be an 11 point lead and honestly i mean the Not slaying much. was pretty close i think it was what uh six seven uh, six yeah. or so advantage there to justice so not not really much as far as team killing goes so it is going to be a tight one accuracy and that will be the two at home to take their home caps we'll keep an eye on this fight that's going to go down for b see who can get early control it was justice in that first side with the early control. All right, well, we're going to get on board with Twiz. He's going to be pushing through. Three go down. That's going to give a huge advantage to Justice to capture this B flag. They did it three strong and nice kill from Twiz with that AR now breaking that out to maybe counter some of those sub rushes and just lock down these long range gunfights, which is exactly what he's doing. And I love Justice and how they put themselves in some great positions to shut 
the excellent push down. And really that's been making all the difference in the world. Hopping up forward with Doubt in a nice gunfight. He does get taken out, leaving Twiz to try and defend the beat. Yeah, and Twizzle up here, he is going to drop to Diabolic. It looks like they're trying to get this flipped right now, but he will get taken out pretty much as soon as he hops on that. Uh, basically a minute into this one, all with accuracy, he's going to get pushed from his right side. They sniped down his teammate, was able to clean that up, but I think he got pushed from top control, was able to contest and eventually take him out. Nice, nice gunfight win by Diabolic. One more is going to push. He does have Snipe down there helping him out. Yeah, Diabolic's just a great player. I love watching him play and just seeing what they can do, as well as accuracy as well. He hasn't had two, you know, the best of games right now overall KD, but then again, it's pretty even with uh, with the rest of the scores from both sides here. He does have uh, five captures, though, so that's been the biggest thing that he's been doing, hopping on those flags and really being a nuisance to Team Justice, making some moves here for the home flag. Will he sneak in or try to get some kills? He does spot a player, managed to take out Doubt. Will he go for the guy? He is going to go for the guy over here in research. Will he backtrack, though, for the home flag? That's the question. Yeah, he was in a good position there to sneak up behind some players, get some easy kills. I think he got three there in that stretch. Will eventually drop. A 10-point game right now, lead for Justice. Uh, EX, though, with the two cap right now, so in good possession position to crawl yeah. back in this one. They are down a man right now. Points. Accuracy with one kill. Another person in front of him might be able to clean a back kill. Guy will nice. go prone, but Accuracy will get the two-piece there. Three minutes left to go, and we're going to have a tie game here sooner than later. Yeah, this is really, really nice coming in from Excellence, making this comeback. They were only down 11 points going into the second half, but now they're starting to claw their way back. Of course, it's still close to that 11 point mark as Justice is just finding some angles that are working for them, but look at Excellence now in control of A and B. Now, I, I kind of like the fact that they're not pushing C at this point. They're not overextending and they're trying to get some spawn control and I think that's been a good thing for them. Unfortunately though, Cosmo last up here going big though trying to defend the B flag. Let's see if they can do it. Yeah, that would have been a huge two piece if he was able to get that hop out on him but not able to do it. Thankfully though, enough time went by where his team was able to spawn up, give him some support. Just over two left and lead change is going to be nice, happening here piece. very shortly. Tie game 118-118 but four down right now for excellence. Sin going to be able to cap B. Got a little help there with a two cap. It takes so, so long it to does. solo cap that. It takes forever. And that's why the lone wolf strategy just doesn't work out. I mean, really at all. That's why you got to at least two cap it or try it. But there it is, Justice. They're going to take control for the moment being. Getting down, it's going to be a hairy one. Only a minute and 50 seconds remaining. Some major action going on on B and accuracy. Now he's going to try to do the lone wolf on B. Let's see if he can. Nope, shut down by a nade from Dowd as we are going to see Justice once again taking control. Well, it was of the big that he was able to neutral that because I think yeah. he was last alive for a second there on B. And they're, they're just lining oh. up for Doubt, but only able to get one. Snipe down with a two-piece. Dybal gets one as well. Sin last alive here on B. He will get taken out. They should be in control of excellence very quickly here. Nice kill by Snipe down. Do you see that guy crossing? No, but his teammate did clean him up. So they're going to have two cap control. They're down five points with just over a minute to go. Every kill and every capture matters right now as we are seeing both teams trying to claw their way forward to win. It is a best of five. This is for the MLG League spot. So both teams know how crucial this is. Cosmo with a great kill. Goes in as two players there from the team of Justice overtaking the B flag as they get it. Sin trying to get those long shots with the MTAR as now two go down. Excellence pushing forward for that B flag. Oh, we got some action though on the home flag. That's going to be accuracy trying to take C. This could be a big move. Yeah, this is huge if he can get this neutral because uh, Sin just got <sighs> a two-piece. Dow cleans him up. That might be a bit of a dagger here as the lead's extended to six and they were in a three down situation. Sin here <laughs> sneaky <laughs> behind the trophy there but does get cleaned up by Diabolic and only a, just under 40 seconds yep. left. It's still close but they yep. have to get this cap. They're two hopping B right now. They have to get this. They need it right now and exactly right now if they want to try and win it. Who's pushing for it? Snipe going to be going for that C flag. Actually not going for it as we see both, all the players not really in position to take a flag. Still time I believe if they get at least this middle flag B actually it's fighting over. for it. Just going to get it and there it is justice yep. is going to win by a narrow margin but what a battle between these two and it's only the first game in a best of five no that was huge very huge. very very close really back and forth you know you saw with what i think a minute or so left yeah. we had a or sorry two, i think two what two two and a half minutes it was a tie game yeah. at 118 118 but justice able to pull away there at the end man of the match look at doubt 31 doubt. and 22 with nine captures huge performance out of him and the first game will go to Justice. Yeah, great stuff coming in from Justice. And that's a huge win for them, especially going against Excellence in Search and Destroy. They've been heating up in Search and Destroy, and one of the players to watch out for is Snipe down with that LMG, yeah. especially if we go into Octane. Don't know the map rotation as of yet, 
but man, it's going to be a good one, and uh, anybody can take it. Yeah, so game two, S&D will be coming up. We've seen, I mean, I know the two matches I did with Excellence, uh, they lost both the S&Ds that I right. did earlier, and you said they, I think they got 3 0 so yep. I don't know. They have not been performing very well in the S&Ds, yeah. but we will have a quick commercial uh, break. We'll be coming back with game two. Remember, these are best of fives now. Stay tuned. This is for top four.